things I've ever done. I'm taking part in a human machine challenge. I will be teamed with an uh, artificial intelligence team from the Technische Universität in München. I will be the human driver and they will be the AI driver. And the best times from my performance and the best times from their performance will be put together and we'll be facing off against um, another driver and another team from a different university. At the apex of design, the pinnacle of innovation, meet Errol Sun. Serial number 9.2018. Exclusively engineered in the Nike lab, born in partnership with Acronym. Acronym is about the future of apparel, and RoboRace is about the future of racing. And the commonality we have is advanced aesthetics being derived from the most advanced performance. We're here at a disused airport in Berlin that actually only closed 10 years ago. I've teamed up with the University of Pisa who have built my AI driverless robot teammate for this weekend. One of the things I love is just video game science, trying to figure out what you can and cannot get away with. And being able to almost do that in real life, pushing a car to its limit, or maybe not its limit, maybe my limit, I should say, is going to be an interesting challenge. And my main career is playing video games, which you're constantly racing against AI and driverless people, uh, so to speak. And today I'm gonna do it for real, which is quite surreal. It's feeling very real now, yeah. <laughs> the format, uh, we're just gonna do, um, this is just a brief test. What we're gonna do is we have a couple of uh, laps as the AI drives around and sort of learns the circuit, unlimited power, and then I'm gonna jump in, uh, get some practice behind the wheel and sort of learn the track for the first time today. Because the car is so connected to you and you're so fused to the car, it's, um, it's like you're, uh, you've got on an exoskeleton, you've got all these new muscles and new kinds of strength and abilities, but you, uh, have no practice at all in how to, how to behave with that, so it's uh, going to be fun. Yeah. It's when you look at these cars and you see them behind you and they're starting up and it's like, Oh man, this is this is actually a thing. I'm about to drive on a Formula E circuit. Oh, I cannot believe I'm doing this. It's unbelievably quick. So so quick. You never get bored driving around in a car like that, do you? No, there's no way. It's fascinating to uh, be part of this, you know, human AI hybrid competition. It's the first time it's been done, as far as I know. Both coming at it from these two different sides, but with a common goal. So, so this is like the feedback from your data, and this is like the line we are generating from the map. Yeah. What yeah. we're actually learning from his lab is how fast the car can go on this track. So, what was his top speed, what was his top lateral accelerations, and we can see, and this helps us to find the perfect setup for tomorrow morning. And you can see uh, easily on the power, you can see how you are a bit more aggressive than the AI, the AI, the AI is smoother. It actually lines up, like, that's really cool. So your GPS and my line is basically the same. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the main points were, I would say, you have to learn from the AI driving. Ace yep. is nice. Corner 8, that's the main place where they are gaining a little bit time, so it's about 20 kph. That's, that's a big difference of the AI. Yeah. Um, 
pretty excited. Obviously, adrenaline is uh, starting to kick in. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Always, uh, always a buzz around the garage when uh, things are about to go out. Yeah. Uh, Everyone just standing around, like the energy picks up, and you're like, yeah. okay, we're like 10 minutes away. track and ready to go. Super slippery, the tires are brand new. I tried to heat him up and then uh, just underestimated it. Here we go. that car a lot. You guys ready? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm cool. Whatever happens, I'm fine. <laughs> That's the worst part right now. <laughs> Driving the car, no problem. Results, eh. And the winner is... Arison, congratulations. <laughs> It was so cool. That was close, too. It was 
so much fun though. It was it was an awesome battle, and I think we we showed just like how close AI racing can really be today. It's awesome, so much fun. Apparently, I was only a tenth of a second faster than the AI though, so not going to be long till they're faster than I am. The format of the race is, uh, I think, really, really interesting. The whole idea of having hybrid teams of uh, half machine, half human uh, is a much more interesting narrative, I find, than just the usual human versus machine. This was stupid amounts of fun, and uh, next weekend's going to seem super boring after this. <laughs>